So today's video is gonna involve only your camera and an iPad, and by the end, we're gonna have a really cool result. So sit back, grab your coffee. Coffee. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah, there we go, Guinness coffee, nice and Irish. Enjoy the video. All right, Brian and Donald here. Welcome back to another video. It's great to see you all again. So today, I've got a really cool, exciting idea in mind. I can't wait to get it done. I think it'll be a really powerful image. Real moody. I'm really excited for it. So, all we're going to use for today's picture is an iPad. Yep, just normal iPad. So, what I want to do, do you remember that picture I made a while ago where I was holding up a mask in front of my face while I was sad behind the mask? It was for a mental health week to show that people might not be okay, but they put up a happy mask. And you guys loved it, it went viral in loads of places, loads of mental health charities and everything were sharing it to their social media to try and promote mental health and encourage others to help others in need. Well, today's picture is inspired by that. It's not exactly similar, it's not as much on the mental health side, but it is to do with holding up masks. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the iPad up to my face like this. And in that iPad, I'm gonna choose my like mask of the day. So when I hold the iPad, it's just gonna be my face behind, my face in the iPad, let's say it's a happy face. Then on the wall behind, I'm gonna have loads of iPads stuck all around the place, each of which has a different picture of me with a different mood on it. So it's like I get up in the morning, go to my wall and go, which mask am I gonna hold up today? Right, I'll take the sad mask, then I put it on my face, and then I'm sad looking, then I take my happy mask, put it on the, hold it up, and then I'm happy, so it's like holding up masks. Now, I'm not gonna do it with the black background because the iPads will just like blend in with the back. I'll do it on a white background, but it's a really simple photo idea, but I think the message will be really powerful. So, all we have to do to take these pictures is to get your iPad. What I'd recommend to do is to fill the iPad with the green screen. Look up green screen on Google, download an image of just a green screen, fill it out to the max on your iPad like this. So therefore, all you have to do is take the picture of yourself and then replace it, replace the green part on the iPad with the picture of yourself. So let's go take those photos now. It'll be really easy to take the photos and it'll be really easy to edit them afterwards, but I'm gonna show you all the steps we need to use. So let's go do that now. Okay, so before I show you exactly how to edit this, I just want to say I didn't use a green screen in the end on the iPad because the green was reflecting green onto my fingers and therefore the end of my fingers were looking green. But I did use a screen, I just used a white screen because white screen and white fingers, it'll just look kind of like lights coming in from the corner of the room. Okay, and time for editing. So, all we're going to do, we're going to open up our Photoshop editing app and we're going to import all our photos into one document. So, these are all my photos here on the screen. I'm gonna select one to open first. So, we'll press plus, add in an image. As you can see at the bottom right, these are all my pictures of the iPad, we'll add in all of these. And basically, all you have to do is press on the eraser tool, zoom in to the area of your iPad, and just erase the iPad out. Just roughly, it doesn't have to be precise straight away, just do a rough erase until you're pretty happy with it. Then press invert, and everything that you've erased will now be kept. Go in closer and just fine tune all the little details, like this brown thing at the bottom, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'll just slowly feather out the sides to make it blend in a little bit better. Now because I took these with me in the front, obviously the exposure is different between the two. As you can see, there's a bright edge around it. So just go to adjust, zoom in so you can see more clearly what you're working with. Go to brightness and just dim down the brightness a bit. Maybe lower the exposure a little bit. Contrast, put that down, put that up. Look, if you put it up, it's obviously gonna blend less. Put it down, if you go too extreme, it's gonna blend more. You wanna find a fine tune in the middle. It looks a bit bluer, so I'll go to temperature, move it up, try and get it up just one notch. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So as you can see, the iPad is now blending in there in the background, and it's, it looks like it's in the background because it's blurred, but it's gonna look better when I have all the iPads added in and when we're zoomed in like this, more focused on the subject. So I'm gonna do that process again and again until I have all the iPads stuck on the wall and then we're gonna talk about how you put the faces onto the iPads. Okay, so there are all the white screens done. Looks a bit weird, it's just a circle of white screens. So all we do now, we press plus, add an image, add any of the pictures we took of me just standing there making the expression. So this is one of me looking kind of slightly confused. All we're gonna do, we're gonna position this in the area of that white one in the middle, then drag it to the layer underneath tap on the top layer, press erase, and then just erase the white area. Now we're gonna do it roughly here, so I won't get the fine tunings of the edges done. As you can see, the edges are a bit 
white and a bit purple, but we'll remove them afterwards. And there I start appearing in the background. Now because I want it to look like I'm holding up a mask of me, I could fill it up to the max and match it up, but then it's just gonna look like I'm holding up a rectangle with a hole in it. So I'm gonna zoom it out a little bit, hold it kind of like that, so it's kind of like I'm holding up a little picture of myself. And then we merge those two layers together. Obviously do it more precise if you're to do it. Press image, add another one. Here's one of me smiling, let's say. So let's position this, scale it down, position it to behind one of the other ones, drag it behind, tap on the top layer, press erase, zoom in, erase the area of the white, and there you go, you appear. Now, the one in the picture is really in focus and it would be in the background blurred with the blurred iPad. So you just want to tap on that layer, go to blur, show all layers, and then just control the blur until you're happy with what you see. So I'll just go somewhere in the middle and now it looks more like that picture's in the background. We duplicate that loads of times and we have it all duplicated. We'll get into the final editing in Lightroom. Okay, so this is the final picture before I did it in Lightroom. Then I put a few edits on it. These were just simple ones. I lowered the exposure, made it slightly cooler in tone and put dark edges around the side. Because this was focused mostly on Photoshop, the Lightroom one can be easy to recreate. You should be able to do that yourselves. But if you want a Lightroom tutorial, let me know below. Yeah, so before you leave, if you did enjoy, make sure to tap subscribe and you'll see more content like this and support me as a creator. I'd appreciate it if you did. Like this video before you head off as well and I'll see you in the next one.